Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about the Taylor's principle for gauges design. In 1905, William Taylor was developed a concept relating to the gazing of components to check the specific dimensions and geometric feature of the components. According to the Taylor's principle, go gaze is designed to check the maximum metal condition. First, we should know the what do you mean by go gaze. During the inspection, go side of the gaze should enter the hole or just to pass over the shaft. Next, what do you mean by maximum metal conditions? It is the presence of greatest amount of material permitted at a prescribed surface. We know that when the maximum metal conditions for the hole is the lower limit and for the shaft is the higher limit. So, go gauges are used to check the lower limit of the hole and higher limit of the shaft. Moreover, go gauges are also simultaneously check the as many related dimensions such as roundness, size and location as possible. Which means go gauges are not only check the its limits, moreover it will be check the other related dimensions which has roundness, size and location as possible. According to the Taylor's principle, not go gauge is designed to check the maximum metal conditions. What do you mean by not, not go gauge? Not go gauge is the we should not enter or pass. You should not enter the hole as well as you should not pass over the shaft. And what do you mean by minimum metal conditions? It is the pre presence of least amount of material permitted at a prescribed surface. We know that when the minimum metal conditions for hole is the higher limit and shaft is the lower limit. So, not go gauges are used to check the higher limit of the hole and lower limit of the shaft. Moreover, you should check the only one dimensions at a time. Previously, go gauges are used to check the limits, moreover, other related dimensions. But, no go gauges are used to check the only one dimensions at a time. Thus, a separate not go gauge is required for each individual dimensions. So, all the related dimensions such as size, location and the roundness is not possible to check the not go gauge at a time. So, the nominal size of the go side of the gaze confirm the lower limit of the hole or higher limit of the shaft. Since it is designed to check the maximum metal conditions. Similarly, not go gauge is corresponded to the higher limit of the hole or lower limit of the shaft as it is designed to check the minimum metal conditions. It can be seen schematic representation for the go gauge and not go gauge for the hole. The gauges for the hole are called the plug gauges. So here, go plug gauge is for the lower limit of the hole and not go plug gauge is for the higher limit of the hole. So, go plug gauge corresponds to the lower limit of the hole and not go plug gauge corresponds to the higher limit of the hole. Previously, we discussed Go plug gauges check the not only dimensions of the hole, also check the roundness or straightness. So, go plug gauges must have a full circular section and must be of full length of the hole so that straightness of the hole can also be checked. So, compared to the go plug gauges, the not go plug gauges are relatively shorter. Why me? Not go plug gauges or check the only dimensions. 
it will be not check the any straightness or roundness if there is any lack of straightness or roundness of the hole a full entry of the go pluggage will not be allowed similarly here observe the schematic representation of the go gauge and not go gauge for the shaft the gauges for the shaft are called the snap gauges so here go snap gauge for the higher limit of the shaft and not go snap gauge for the lower limit of the shaft so have to see observe that one in the figure go snap gauge represents the higher limit of the shaft whereas not go snap gauge represents the lower limit of the shaft so this is the taylor's principle thank you